the midpoint of a segment is the point that divides the segment into two congruent segments. A segment bisector is a point, a ray, or a line, or a line segment, or a plane that intersects a segment at its midpoint. A midpoint or a segment bisector bisects a segment. Uh, in particular, we want uh, to um, use the two formulas that you see, one to find the midpoint and the other one to find the distance between two points A and B. Well, the midpoint formula is straightforward. Um, if I want to find the midpoint of A and B, then x, y is equal to x1, x2, add it together, divide by 2. And what I'm going to do is over here, I'm going to write my points x1, y1, 1, 3. And then right below it, I'm going to write x2, y2, 6, 8. And then I'm going to remember that if I want to find the midpoint, I add them. If I want to find the distance formula, which is based on the Pythagorean theorem, I am going to subtract the x1, x2. So let's see how that goes. Just substituting straight into the formula, I get 1 plus 6 over 2 and 3 plus 8 over 2 which gives me 7 over 2 and 11 over 2. That is my midpoint, M and its coordinates, and you should not be afraid of fractions. In order to find the distance, um, and actually it really doesn't matter how you subtract the points, but we'll just go ahead and do x2 minus x1 since this is what our formula says over here. And always make sure that you put your points in parentheses. So this gives us 5 squared plus 5 squared. And d is equal to square root of 25 plus 25, that's square root of 50. Now, of course, you could live in um, decimal form or in radical form. This is 25 root 2, so d is 5 root 2. If you were given, let's say, just um, one endpoint and another midpoint. How would you find the second endpoint? So I'm just going to um, sketch a segment here in this quadrant. Okay, and let's uh, just make up an endpoint C and let's just say that's negative 1, negative 2. And we'll say that the midpoint here, we'll call it M1 just so that it's different, is going to be, I'm sorry, this can't be negative 1, negative 2. This would have to be positive 1, negative 2. And the midpoint is 4, negative 5. So we want to find this other endpoint D. You may not always be given a a diagram, but you would have the points. Um, you should not be intimidated by this, just use the formula again. So this time in the formula I have the midpoint, so I'm going to s plug it in on the left hand side, and this is the important difference. And on the right hand side, I'm going to plug in one point and its x-coordinate goes here, the y-coordinate goes here, and the second point is x2, two, y2. Two. 
So what we're saying is D has the coordinates x to y2. So it would seem that we have one equation with two unknowns, but we can actually split this equation. So let's do this. 4 equals 1 plus x2 over 2, and negative 5 equals should be a plus. Cross multiply. So you get 8 equals 1 plus x2 and x2 equals 7. Here you get negative 10 is equal to negative 2 plus y2. So y2 is equal to negative Eight. So your point D has coordinates seven, comma, negative eight. And this is an endpoint.